Hi, welcome back to Leather and Fray, Crafting with Jen. Today, I wanna to make a style that I love so much. They are these Moroccan-inspired earrings, and I will show them to you. I have a pair here in this sort of green, brown, slightly metallic uh, leather that's really pretty, but you can see the shapes. There's a Moroccan-inspired um, shape at the top, and a Moroccan style shape at the bottom. I'm actually wearing a pair today in metallic. Let's make these Moroccan inspired earrings. I pulled out a piece of this gorgeous champagne metallic leather. So I am going to pull out my pattern. Now you'll notice my pattern does not have this inner piece cut out of it. That's because I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to need two of these top pieces and two of the bottom pieces. So with my dark brown gel pen, I'm going to go ahead and trace out my pattern pieces. Now that I'm finished tracing out my pattern pieces onto my leather, I'm going to go ahead and pull out these stainless steel scissors that I get at my local leather store. For me, it's Tandy Leather, and these are made by Craft Tool. They're just very heavy duty stainless steel uh, scissors, and they're gonna be really nice for cutting this metallic leather today. Now my pattern pieces are cut out and I don't really have very much gel pen left on the edges but what I do like to do is grab a damp kitchen washcloth and I'll just wipe the tops of my leather pieces just in case there is any gel pen left on the edges. So now I'm going to show you how to cut out the middle section of my bottom pieces. So to cut out my center piece what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four dots. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to draw my inside and then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, we have our pattern pieces cut out, and now we just need to punch our holes. All right, I have my hole puncher set to the smallest setting because I wanted to make the smallest holes that I can, and I'll show you where to punch your holes. Ok, 
Okay, now our leather pieces are cut out and our holes are punched. I'm gonna do one more step. I get this burnishing agent at my local leather store and it is a natural gum-based product that I can paint onto, I use a paintbrush, and I'll paint it onto the backs of my leather pieces because of the little furry, fuzzy nap on the back of the leather. This is going to smooth down the nap, making my edges a lot more finished. And what I also love about this burnishing agent is that it, I, it makes my earrings more durable. So they're just gonna last longer. They're gonna hold up their shape better. And so I've been using this for quite a while and I love it. What I do is I just get in and I'm gonna just paint this burnishing agent right onto the backs of my earrings. And now you can see that this nap is laid down super smooth. These look really, really nice and finished. So my earrings just need a minute to dry. So I'm gonna lay, I lay them on my workstation and I lay them flat. And then I'm just going to let these dry for a little while and then I'll come back and we'll put them together. Okay, so now I've let these dry for about an hour. Um, you can, sometimes I'll paint burnishing agent on earrings and just leave them overnight. Uh, but it is good to make sure that they dry flat. And once they're dry, they're great. Now, we just need to put our earrings together. I'm gonna to reach over and grab two pairs of needle nose pliers, and I'm gonna use these like my hands because our earring design needs two jump rings to put the tops and the bottom pieces together. Now I'm gonna actually go with a slightly larger size jump ring. Because of the bottom piece, I have this little bit of a peak and then I'm gonna attach it to the top piece. I want my earrings to dangle nicely, so I'm going with a slightly larger jump ring just to give room for the top and the bottom. I got my first pair on. See how that bottom piece moves really nicely? That's because I used a large enough junk ring that there's plenty of room. Okay, so the tops and the bottoms are on and attached. Now we just need to put on the earring hooks. Now I've gone with, today, I've gone with a rustic gold jump ring. And so I'm gonna go with a rustic gold now earring hook. I've got them all organized in my little bins here. So I'll show you what I pulled out. Now this is a simple earring hook. Now as you can see, it's got one little ball on it. These are gonna be um, pretty with these earrings. So now I'm going to just open up my earring hook, put my earring piece on. Now we have 
with another pair of these Moroccan inspired earrings. I think they are so pretty. I hope you've enjoyed making these with me. If you have any questions, please reach out and email me at leatherandfray at gmail.com. And if you liked this video, please subscribe. I would love to continue sharing more of my earring designs with you and tips and tricks on how to make incredible leather earrings that you can make at home. All right, until next time from Portland, Oregon, I hope that you have a great day.